seminar I will explain you how to develop a simple Java application with Eclipse Ganymed. Eclipse Ganymed is started here and I work within the Java perspective, everything looks well. We go to the Package Explorer, select the context menu and select the new project wizard. A Java project is selected, I open the wizard and say exercises. Um, finish up the wizard, a uh, project is created and a source folder is still available holding the, the created class. I will show and explain you this webinar with a simple rectangle application. We go to the new class wizard. I type in the name for this class and type in a package. A package is still in general the primary domain of the company, secondary domain and several subfolders. I take exercises. Finish up the wizard, a class is still created. The rectangle has a width and a height assigned. I type in the attributes part as an integer. So every class can be editing in the tab, maximizing the editor here. And a rectangle class should have setter and getter methods to public to have public access to the attributes. So creating setter and getter methods is easy. Go to the editor, open the context menu, type the source option and you will find a generate getters and setter option. And you can select all and the necessary required getter and setter or missing set getter and setters will be created now. Control shift f is a very nice hotkey for matting the code for you. And now the constructors are missed. I would like to have a default constructor and a constructor setting the width and height uh, attributes. So the default constructor is very, e very easy to implement. Type in control space and the, and the first option is creating default constructor. The default constructor is created and the special constructor you can create setting the context menu source option and you will find a generate constructor using fields and generate constructors from superclass. I say generate constructor using fields and select both oh, I can change the order of course and select both attributes and the right class constructor will be created. The default constructor still delegates to the special constructor and I reformat the code again. So everything looks fine. The last step is now we have a very useful class method is the toString method. The toString method we have to overwrite from the object. I type in two, control space and the frame for this toString method is still created. We have to re-implement the string returned for this toString method and I say return the width and height as a string. So rectangle is finished, everything works fine and now we have still to program a test class running this class. We go to the package re re again and we create and open the class wizard and I say test rectangle. Test rectangle is still a class in the same package but this is not a good and useful case in the practice. Always program the test classes in a different package. So the test rectangle class should have a main method. For this we type in the main key, control space opens up a template and this template creates our necessary code. We type in first line creating the first instance of our rectangle object and I say the width is of 100 pixels for example and the height belongs to 200 pixels. We would like to print out the content of the rectangle instance and uh, for this we type system out as a short keyword control space everything will be created. Okay, the test rectangle class has been created. 
Now we can run the class very easy. We select the class or we type open the context menu over the editor and we select the run as option. And if it's a main method as part of this class, a Java application part will be required, available, and we select this Java application option. Running this class is very easy and the output will result as part of the console. Possible that we can debug our application. For this, go and select the right line of the editor you would like to debug and are interested in. Go to the left side of the editor and double click on the line bar and a breakpoint will result. For this, if you would like to run the application in debug mode, go to the bar here and say test rectangle. In a debug mode, the debug perspective will be shown. Inside of this perspective you have a debug view showing you the right stack of the application and you have a variable view on the right side showing you the actual values of your instances. Then here in the debug view we have important step into method, stepping into the code, step over F6, stepping over the code and step return, returning from the method. I go further and I say I would like to step into the set with method. Okay, everything works well. I go further with F6. I do the same and I say resume and the application will still show the same result as before. Okay, that's all for the moment. I wish you that you this webinar was very useful and wish you a nice day.